So it was about 11.30 at night, and there was a storm happening at the time. It wasn't a bad storm, just a normal summer storm. I was up a little late, obviously, because sometimes it's uh, difficult to fall asleep while there's a storm happening. And I sat down on the couch to check the weather for the final time, make sure that there wasn't any new pop-up tornado warnings or anything like that. And uh, as soon as I sat down, I heard, I heard it. literally the most scary moment of my life the most scary sound that i have ever heard it was the sound of a tree falling right outside my house i didn't know which tree it was uh i knew it was a big tree i worked for a tree company for a couple of years and uh, i knew that sound from anywhere there was zero hesitation as soon as i heard the noise i knew exactly what was happening I knew there's a tree coming down. I knew it was probably coming into the house uh, due to the uh, proximity of the noise. So I ended up getting off the couch. I ran to the one side of the room where we have uh, cathedral ceilings and I immediately thought, well, this might not be a good idea because if the tree comes through this side of the roof, there's no other protection. So I ran over to the other side and I stood under the uh, giant LVL that I just put in to hold up the second floor. My wife and daughter were in the room uh, right next to me and the tree hit. And I have not ever had an adrenaline rush like that in my entire life. Um, actually, the adrenaline rush that I got from that, because um, I thought someone was gonna die. I, I, I thought somebody was gonna die or be seriously injured because we're surrounded by these giant trees and you know, sometimes these things, they literally will fall through from the t from the roof all the way to the foundation and cut the house in half. I have not had an adrenaline rush like that my entire life, and I'm an adrenaline junkie. I've done pretty much everything. I mean, I've done spins in airplane, aerobatics in airplanes. I mean, you name it, racing motorcycles, crashing motorcycles, you name it. I've never had an adrenaline dump like that before. Man, the, uh, the adrenaline crash after that was rough. Ended up finally calming down. I got the nerve to walk outside and take a peek and this is what I saw. It's like one o'clock in the morning and uh, a giant tree fell on her house. The entire tree. So now I gotta go uh, back inside and try to fall asleep again. Oh, it's been a long night. Try falling asleep after <laughs> tree falls on your house. Probably doesn't look like it, but that's actually a pretty big tree. Or maybe it does look like it. I'm not sure. So glad I've been working so hard to fix it up. <laughs> all of the rafters are all cracked all the way across. Most of the, a bunch of the sheathings all rippled up and I mean, the entire entire side of that or the entire side of the house is gonna have to come off the top in order to fix the damage. So next day, uh, tree guys should be here any minute. Um, super early, sun's just coming up. That's, look at this lighting. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and set the camera up somewhere, and see what happens. It's kind of sad. I'm, Kind of growing fond of our pet tree there up on the roof and uh, yeah keep him fed and watered and he would probably stay up there and be quite happy for quite some time okay if you're wondering how much it costs to get this tree off of the roof i hope you're sitting down because it cost six thousand dollars and that's actually a pretty good price and in case you're wondering who has to pay for it well, the insurance company requires you to pay for the tree removal out of pocket and then they will reimburse you. So, if you're a homeowner and live around trees, make sure that you have some money set aside just in case a tree falls on your house. Because otherwise, uh, yeah, you're going to have to come up with that money pretty quickly. And while they were here, we ended up paying them completely separate. Uh, that way they don't have to drag the crane out again to remove any other trees around the house that required a crane. So they ended up cutting us a little bit better deal on these trees. And again, this was completely separate from the insurance work. 
Um, but yeah, very expensive. Tree removal is very expensive. Yeah, so check this out. The whole tree was freaking hollow. Lucky the whole thing didn't come over into the house. I mean, that's insane. The, the funny thing is, is that I had, uh, I don't know, four tree guys and a professional forester, licensed forester. And they all looked at this tree like, oh yeah, that's a completely healthy tree. Not a single dead branch on it. Zero indication that it was hollow inside. And then even funnier thing is, is that the tree everybody thought was rotten in the middle. Completely solid. Now let me show you the size of the, uh, the size of the tree that was on the roof. Tree guy said when he picked it off of there, it weighed the one piece weighed four thousand pounds. The branch, the the second piece was a little over three thousand. So it's seven thousand pounds worth of a tree that fell on that freaking house. So this right here, there. So there, that's the piece that was on the roof. And then the branches, actually the branches were here. That's where they cut cut the branches off. Uh, and then the branches are buried in that pile. I don't know how well this is coming on camera. This is the small end of, that was on the roof. This is where the branches were coming off. I mean, this is a significant piece of wood. All of these other trees, that, the ones that they have marks on them, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see or not. Um, they're already, they're purchased by a timber company, um, but we've been uh, held up on permits and stuff like that from, it's kind of a long story, complicated process. We're kind of involved with our neighbors on the deal, um, but permitting for that is on hold. So that's why these haven't been taken down yet. And it may be, it may be a while still for all this permit stuff to go through. Where I live is insane. There's no reason that it should be this difficult to go through uh, permitting processes. It should be like a one hour ordeal, but it's insanely complicated. So that's kind of the story on that. Eventually they're gonna come take down all of these trees and we'll have nothing around the house that will ever be a problem ever again. We'll still have plenty of woods um, and all of these trees are gonna go somewhere and be turned into lumber and reuse so they're not going to waste um, and we'll have plenty of firewood for life that's just from the tree they had to <laughs> the trees they had to take down for the house the insurance company wants you to pay for the initial removal out of pocket and then they'll reimburse you because it's not going to go through in time they want this tarped up as soon as possible because if you get rain uh, it's going to cause even way more damage if you get buckets of rain inside your house uh, it'll ruin all the downstairs so we lucked out on the rain situation but they still want it tarped up like they want it tarped up like the same day and you're kind of responsible for that so if you don't do your due diligence and get this part done you're gonna have problems with the insurance company um, but luckily they're covering everything I'm sure they're gonna jack our rates through the roof and it's still we're still gonna be looking at thousands of dollars of expense for this to happen so I got the house all covered up um, I've had several people out here to look at it and give me quotes. I think that this is going to be a major pain in the butt dealing with the insurance company and dealing with contractors. Um, I obviously have the skills to do all the work but I'm only one person right now and uh, you need at least three people to do high work like this and so I'm just gonna have to hire it out and kind of deal with the whole situation. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get this all sorted. It is what it is. The tree fell. Everybody's safe and that's what matters. I guess I'll uh, keep you guys updated. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.